While the strange results of quantum theory are often used to gather interest in physics, its mystification has made it easy for people to slap the word quantum in front of bad science and pass it off as real. Fifteen years ago, in what would come to be known as the Sokol Affair, a physics professor from New York University submitted a bogus paper titled Transgressing the Boundaries Towards a Transformative Hermeneutics of Quantum Gravity to the Academic Journal of Cultural Studies, Social Text. He filled the paper with mathematical and physical bloopers under the assumption that the inaccuracy of the content would be overlooked so long as the conclusion was appealing. Sokol later revealed the hoax in a different journal, stating that he submitted the paper as an experiment to see if an article liberally salted with nonsense would be accepted on the grounds that a. it sounded good, and b. it flattered the editor's ideological perceptions. It was. There have been many similar hoaxes throughout the years which have tested the intellectual integrity of academic publishing. Of course, on the other side of things, academic fraud by an author is not unheard of either. Data gets tweaked to fit conclusions smugly and concerns about getting scooped, having your ideas or results stolen by another group, run high in certain fields of study. Though there are many facets of understanding intellectual integrity in academia, we will spend the rest of the video battling a bit of the mystery surrounding quantum physics, which has become a buzzword among quacks who try to sell ideas or products that sound smart, but are just very terribly wrong. Where did quantum physics come from in the first place? While classical mechanics works well in describing systems that have a normal size, speed, and temperature, once we leave these ranges of normalcy, strange behaviors begin to occur. Equations established by classical mechanics simply did not match experimental data, and so quantum theory was developed to fill in the gaps. In particular, quantum mechanics worked to explain how light could be both a wave and a particle. There's a tendency to think of quantum mechanics and classical mechanics as two completely different systems. Bad science will try to tell you that if you apply quantum mechanics to an everyday situation, you'll get amazing results that let you act as both a wave and a particle, and walk through walls and whatnot. But really, if you take an extreme system and bring it closer to normal, you'll find that its quantum model looks more and more like a classical model. You can think of classical mechanics as a specific case of quantum mechanics. The exotic behaviors we see in extreme systems don't necessarily correspond to everyday occurrences. So the next time you see something with the word quantum attached, don't be too scared. There's a lot of cool and crazy stuff that goes on in quantum theory, but there's nothing there that will say that you can walk through a wall. No theory will ever let you do that. It may be best not to try.